Good morning, everyone. Uh, our today's topic is heating effect of electric current. Um, this is the third day of electricity. Uh, this will be followed by some numerical uh, word problems, um, which I will solve and uh, give assignment as well. So uh, here is heating effect of electric current. Let's define what heating effect of electric current is first of all. So to define the transformation of electric energy electrical energy into heat energy is known as heating effect of electric current so energy can be converted from one form to another and the, the transformation of the electrical energy into heat energy we call it heating effect of electric current so some examples coming up on the right hand side of the screen where we use heating effect of electric current heater, iron, then geyser. So these are some of the appliances uh, which used electrical energy uh, being transformed into heat energy. Let's uh, discuss the first point. The heat is generated in a resistor or a device when current flows through it. There, are, We have already discussed about the different uh, resistance of different um, conductors or materials the resistance of different materials are different or different metals are different now based on the resistivity based on the uh, electrical resistivity that the conductor offer uh, the heat uh, heat is uh, the heat generated also differs not all the metals can be used uh, as a part of uh, heating appliance so those um, metals like uh, tungsten nichrome which has high uh, resistance are used for uh, heating uh, appliances so the real time example is when we switch on the bu a bulb current passes through it and it becomes hot so we all would have experienced uh, lighting a bulb so on putting on the light bulb and if you wait for a while the bulb after it closed it tends to heat up so the electrical energy which is passed on to the bulb gets some part of the electrical energy is uh, converted into heat so therefore the bulb becomes hot let's move to the third point metals with high resistance like example nichrome tungsten so these are some of the metals that are being used uh, for heating elements the heating effect of current has its application in electric heater geyser pressed etc so there you could you could think of many uh, applications where heating uh, effect of electric current is being utilized so uh, we should understand or remember that um, the electric current which passed which is passed into the appliances gets converted into heat and uh, we should also know that um, uh, let's take an example of an electric fan so the electric fan part of the electric current is used to uh, run the blade of the fan and part of it is expanded or is dissipated as heat so um, that's how uh, heating effect of electric current is being utilized then coming up next is the derivation of Joule's law of heating effect so the diagram on the right hand side so we're going to consider one resistor so let us consider a resistor R connected across the terminals of a battery through which the current I flows then let V and Q be the potential difference and the charge flowing through the circuit for the time T 
now the amount of work done to move the charged q through poten through the potential difference v is w equal to vq therefore the energy input in the circuit per unit time is given by energy equal to w by t equal to vq by t equal to vi now i'm going to explain a bit um the, uh, about, uh, on this step uh, the energy input so some amount of work is done to move the charge from one terminal to the other so that work then gets converted into uh, heat or energy over time so um, as it goes as it is being uh, as the charge flows for some uh, duration it gets converted into uh, some kind of energy that is converted into heat and now the step here uh, I don't know whether you can see uh, VQ by T so how do I get VI so Q by T after separating it becomes I which becomes the current so VQ by T equal to VI then the energy is dissipated as heat so this uh, energy is dissipated at or is converted into heat so the amount of heat produced uh, in time T is given by H equal to so we're representing heat with H VIT so it's a power uh, power into time gives us the uh, energy or the heat so according to Ohm's law V equal to IR so IR in place of V we're substituting IR then uh, I square RT so uh, I into I is I square so this relation or this uh, formula we call it as Joule's law of heating effect of electric current this will be followed by um, hitting a, a statement of Joule's law of heating effect so electric current can be electric current can be converted into heat and the relation uh, between the heat and the current resistance and time is given as h equal to i square rt so coming to the statement of joule's law of heating according to joule's law of heating the heat h equal to i square rt i'm putting up the formula once so that you can refer uh, to it as you write the statement so this uh, is directly proportional to the square of the current for a given resistance so h proportional to i square when r is constant then the resistance directly proportional to the resistance for a given current so h proportional to r when i is constant so as long as you don't change the amount of the current so the heat generated is directly proportional to the resistance then again and the time during which the current flows through the given resistance so it's proportional to t when the resistance and the current are constant moving on next application of heating effect of electric current so the uh, we're going to discuss uh, two uh, application uh, one is the mechanism of production of light by electric current uh, electric bulb so first of all we need to know that the, the filament of uh, electric bulb is made of uh, metal called tungsten uh, which has a high resistance so as the current flows uh, through the tungsten um, the current gets stored up in the metal um, which make or uh, which let the bulb to glow nitrogen and argon gases are present to prolong the 
life of the filament. So the filament, the filament is a very thin metal, uh, and even though it's a very thin metal, uh, thin metal which is used there, even though it is very thin, since it has a very high resistance, it can produce, uh, it can glow uh, in the presence of um, some um, gases. Then fused. Fused is another uh, device which used the principle of heating effect of electric current. So the diagram, uh, the symbol of fused and uh, the a socket which is used in the uh, mains. So fuse is a device made of low melting point and high resistivity to protect circuits and appliances from damage when there is an excess flow of current. So uh, what does fuse do? What it does is as the current increases for some reasons, maybe due to short circuit or um, like overheating if it happens, uh, the fused, since it is of made of a low melting point, it melts and break the circuit and stop the flow of the current. So when there is a short circuit, the fused cut off the current supply and uh, protect the appliances from getting damage. So that's the function of uh, the fused. Then uh, I've already mentioned that uh, fused function works on the principle of heating effect of electric current. Then another point which is very important uh, is fuse should always be connected in series in the circuit. It cannot be connected in parallel because if it is connected in parallel, the the appliances can still be damaged. Then the rating. Now, uh, the maximum permissible current which can pass through an appliance is important here. So if the maximum permissible current is 4.5, then the rating of the fuse must be 5 ampere. If it is a 3 point, uh, sorry, yes, 3.5 ampere, if the permissible current is 3.5, the rating of the fuse must be uh, four. So that's how the rating goes. And uh, it is made of uh, metal or alloy of low metals and low metal point, low, low alloy of low melting point and high resistivity. And another very important thing is the thickness and length of fuse wire depends on the maximum current permissible through the circuit. Usually fuse wire is generally encased in a uh, cartridge of porcelain or similar material with metal ends with a marking of rated current as 0.3 ampere, 0.5 ampere, 1 ampere, 2 ampere, 3 ampere and so on. So that's about fused. Uh, you will be discussing more about fused again uh, uh, in one of the, in one of the latest uh, lesson. So. Let's proceed to the next topic, which is uh, power, electric power. Electric power can be defined as the rate of doing work. In other words, it is also the rate of consumption of energy. Uh, there's a thing about electric power now, uh, in the beginning, I've already mentioned that electricity is a flow of electrons or car, uh, electrons or charge. Now, are we are we paying for the are we paying the electricity department uh, for the electrons that m comes into our house? No, we we don't pay for the uh, electrons because we don't know uh, the amount of electrons that is actually flowing into our house or uh, gadgets. So we pay for the energy that we consume. The more energy we consume, the more uh, 
money we pay. So uh, it's for how long we used and how we used. We don't pay for the electrons that is flowing into the, the electron actually literally, literally it does not flow into our house. So we use for the energy that we uh, consume. So uh, electric power can be defined as the rate of doing work. In other words, it is also the rate of consumption of energy. So that's our unit of uh, electric power. Power is the watt, W, uh, bigger unit of watt is kilowatt. So the power uh, is the product of potential difference and current, or V equal to IR, so uh, according to Ohm's law. So IR into I, which is I square R, which also can be written as V by R whole square into R. So uh, this part again is derived from Ohm's law again. Uh, I, we know that I is equal to V by R. So if you substitute the value of V by R in place of I in the equation, um, you'll get V by R whole square into R. Now opening the bracket, uh, we'll have R V square by R because one of the uh, square uh, R, uh, which is in the denominator, uh, cancels out with the R in the numerator. So we have V square by R. <clears throat> Now the commercial unit of uh, uh, electric power um, uh, or the energy that we consume is kilowatt hour and one kilowatt one kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joules so uh, that's how the energy that we consume at our house uh, is calculated so the power for how long it is utilized. So based on that, the electricity department calculates the amount with a, uh, they have a, a fixed, uh, they have a rate for it. So depending on the rate and depending on the amount of energy that we consume, the uh, amount that we have to pay to the electricity department is calculated. So now uh, we have some formulae which we will be using to calculate. And I want you to stick with the basic form uh, formulae that I'm going to put up here. Don't go for the complicated ones. Uh, almost all the problems uh, can be solved uh, with the formula which I'm going to put up here. So I equal to Q by T. Now again, another very important thing is understanding the definitions understanding what current is you can always remember the formula so according to the definition of current it says current is um, the amount of charge flowing per unit time so that's q by t so that should be in our head then q equal to it that's just a simple um, simplification transferring t to the left hand side so q equal to it the basic for uh, the basic def the definition if it, if we know how to put it uh, in mathematical expression it always gives us the f required formula then potential difference we know is the amount of work done to move a unit charge so w by q v equal to w by q so w equal to vq then the third v equal to ir which is according to ohm's law the amount of current flowing uh, through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference where R, R is a constant so a V equal to IR then rho electrical resistivity rho equal to RA by L again this is derived from factors uh, on which resistance of a conductor depends then combination of resistances or resistors so for series rs equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 parallel 1 by rp equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 then uh, heating effect of electric car uh, electric current it's equal to i square rt then power equal to vi or power equal to v square by r uh, i have
have prepared a way for you to remember the lesson and recall easily. I call it mind map. Ohm's law factors on which the Ohm's law, uh, sorry, uh, resistance of a conductor depends. Then the series parallel connection. Then heating effect of electric current, fuse, bulb. I've just divided them into a category so that you can remember. Power equal to VI. And some of the basic uh, instruments uh, that are used in electricity. So that's all uh, from my side today and if you feel that the channel is effective for you please subscribe and learn whatever that have that has been taught all this time and make sure that you understand them and in case any, if there is any confusion on your part you're always uh, advice to put up to me I will always uh, help you so uh, that's the lesson of, of uh, electricity the first lesson uh, that winds up the lesson and from tomorrow we will be discussing or talking about uh, some of the word problems and uh, we'll be solving some numerical problems so that you understand the lesson uh, a lot better thank you